Hello winners! Welcome back to our channel. I'm Michelle and back with another uh, lounge fly review today but we're looking at a couple of cross bodies rather than mini backpacks. Uh, that's why it's just me. Natalie's not super big in Star Wars or anything so she doesn't know very much about these and plus daddy's playing with Alex so she's you might be able to hear her in the background right now and then she's running around screaming right now. Um, anyways so like I said Star Wars today and it is that new style of crossbody that I've mentioned in the past that um, Lanfly has been doing a lot of now. And they've released a bunch recently and I've got three of the newest Star Wars ones. I haven't really seen a whole lot about them. I don't know if it's just because most of the collectors that I follow and stuff are all mostly like mini backpack collectors versus crossbody or what. But like I said, I don't... It, it might also be just because these are still pretty new. And so a lot of small shops might not have them in yet. I'm not really sure of the reasoning. I do know that these are all available on various small shop websites. So um, you'll be able to find them somewhere. I don't think all of them necessarily have them like in stock still. Some of them might have sold out by now, but I haven't really checked recently. Like I said, they're kind of old but new at the same time because I haven't really seen a whole lot of people have them yet. Like one of them is from like this newest um, monthly release. The other two are from like the one before, but I think a lot of small shops are still missing a lot of bags from previous uh, pre-orders, right? I, I feel like there's a little, there's a little holdup still on some of those stuff. Anyways, so I'm gonna, all three are so amazing that I don't know where to start. I think I'm gonna save this newest one last just because the detail on it is fantastic. I have a funny story with you guys about that one too. Anyways, so let's start with let's start with this one just because I think this is technically the oldest of the releases. But like I said, I haven't seen a lot of people with them. I don't know if it's just because it's not popular or what, but it's... I love it. So of course, if you can't tell right away, it is Princess Leia. Um, you've got the Rebel logo right there in that middle spot right there where, like I said, this style of crossbody I've noticed is that it's fairly uniform in terms of layout. There's usually an emblem right there. You get that one right here, super shiny. You get a little bit of silver detailing, almost like her belt, but not quite right there on the front. The draping of her dress here. And it is an actual like piece of material where it's like feltish on the back there with the same faux leather feel on the front as the rest of the bag. You guys know that um, I've mentioned before in the past this style you get like the seam in the middle so it kind of tells you that there's two compartments on the inside. You do get little metal studs for the feet there. Sorry, I'm hiding one of the features on here like it's one of my favorite features on this bag that I've seen. You get the Star Wars lounge fly plaque there on the back, the same repeating silver detailing um, there as well as a signature that says Princess Leia Organa. It's so cute. I hadn't noticed that before in the photos. I didn't look that closely at it, but it is all in silver and white. And you guys, the strap on this bag. Look at it! It's her belt! This is like the coolest little detail on this bag. So this is my favorite part of this bag is the fact that her um, belt is the crossbody strap. So that means it is it does mean that it's not adjustable i think i'll pull it all out just to make sure but yeah unfortunately because this is an actual like detail on here which by the way you get the silver detailing as well as little studs four of them um but with this detailing it means that this strap isn't there's not a portion on the strap to make it adjustable so unfortunately you do lose that but either way i love this detail on there so i'll show you guys yeah, so it's, you know, it's the belt part and then the metal chain on the end of the two sides. It's pretty simple lining, just gray with the Rebel logo. And like I said, you get two compartments in there. There should be, yeah, there's an open pocket along the front right here. And then, oh no, zipper pocket on this one. I think some of them have a zipper pocket on this side, but this one doesn't at all. So it's just two open pockets. But it is the same size as, you know, the other um, crossbodies in this style. 
which is a decent size, definitely big enough for, you know, a full-size wallet and then anything else that you might need to carry around. Oh, so, pops there. But yeah, you guys, this is so cool. Any any Princess Leia fan and, you know, you, you can wear crossbodies and stuff, I think this is the coolest one. I don't actually have any of the Princess Leia minis. I think there were two that were released. Um, I think one was like an update of the other and I just never got it. I don't know why. I need to I need to see if I can find it on sale somewhere and maybe grab it but I don't have any layer bags yet so this is my first one of her and I think this is an excellent design for Princess Leia. So cool. All right next we've got Boba Fett. Again great for any Boba Fett fan that wants a crossbody versus a mini backpack. You've got like I said logo big metal logo plaque right on the middle claps there you've got like kind of the detailing here that's like his breastplate basically and it's an applique so you've got you know all of the nice textured detailing like this is it's like painted on so there's like a there's still like an embossed um feel to it You've got the red striping there again that side showing you the two compartments You've got his little badge there on the back star wars logo a little there more detailing let's see what the lighting is for this one fairly simple you've got repeating boba fett helmets here's the top body strap so in this case you guys can kind of you can almost see it, sorry, it's super plastic, but it is adjustable right there. And then chain at the bottom. So this one is adjustable because it doesn't have like, you know, the fancy top part on the, um, the chain there. Same as the other one, two open compartments on the inside. You do get an open pocket in the front. But like I've said before in about these bags, these bags are a little bit on like the, um, they're like simpler in terms of design like it's usually nothing too crazy right it's the emblem in the middle some kind of fairly simple design that goes with the character or even just a color scheme but this is definitely for like less in your face fandom kind of thing but still definitely like obviously more than like this this and then that alone is definitely more than enough to be like okay it's boba fett right like lets you know right away what it is without being too crazy so i think this one is again awesome for boba fit fans all right you guys so this last one <laughs> um by the way boba fett i think and then princess leia like i said i think they're still available at most small shops or i don't know and i don't know if like just it hasn't come in yet I, like i said i don't know i feel like i haven't seen a lot of it but this one i know for sure is new and i don't think a lot of small shops have it in stock just yet because it is from this um most recent pre-order so i think it is missing from quite a few of the small shops so i think it's still available for order it just hasn't come in yet but i did pick it up from box lunch because this one popped up on box lunch and it was actually available during the um the box lunch money period redemption period and so i went into stores and they were able to place an order for me using box lunch money so i was able to get half off which i was very excited about um but it was a pre-order so it took like a couple weeks for it to come in after the redemption period so it just came in this week i went in when i went in to pick it up my box lunch knows me by the way because i go there so much shout out to the park place mall box lunch i love you guys over there um so, you know, the one of the, the manager, Ashley, she knows me and she she's like, oh, so what did you what do you have coming in for your, uh, you know, the online order? I was like, I, I'm like, it's either clothes for baby Alex because I just bought a bunch of clothes for her, too, that I was waiting on or I had a crossbody that I was waiting on. And they're like, and they, you know, you could feel they felt the packaging and they're like, oh, I think it's the crossbody. And one of the other employees, she's like, oh, she's like, is it is it the Amadala bag? <laughs> I was like yeah she's like i just saw it online it looks beautiful can i see it she's so cute she opened it. i was like yeah go for it so she usually like you know she opened up the just like the packaging like the mail bag on the outside she's like can i can i like fully open it i was like yeah go ahead that's fine and they're all like stop opening her package 
I was like, it's okay, it's fine. I love sharing, you know, my love of the bag, so it's it's totally fine. So, you know, she opened it all the way and looked at it and she freaked out because the detail on this bag are so pretty. Yes, look at this. Our Queen Amadala crossbody. I had seen pictures of this, actually. I, I don't know if it maybe it was like a leak or... I don't think it was a leak, though. Maybe it was just like a preview that they just... It took a while to like finally actually release. But I saw preview photos of this bag like quite a while back and I was like, this is amazing. Uh, I thought I missed it, actually, because it had been so long since I saw the photos. And I was like, I never actually saw it go on sale. I'm like, was it an exclusive and I missed it? But anyways... <laughs> loved in my <laughs> box lunch people over there because she saw this and she loved it um but i agree and it's because this is so pretty for any queen amadala fans so this is kind of like one of her like most iconic outfits right like we all know this outfit we've seen photos of it it's been it's everywhere um and then i think cordy's corner is the small shop that has the exclusive mini backpack of her in this outfit i think it's actually still available so if you're a fan the and you don't know that it exists, Cordy's Corner. I'll link it below for you guys and stuff. It's it's in my link tree. Um, I've got a discount code for your first purchase too. But they um, they have the mini backpack um, exclusive of her in this outfit. And that, I think that's the only one that you really... I don't think there's any other Amadala Padme bags. Are there other ones? I think there's ones like with her with the other characters, like with the other... Um, female leads like Princess Leia and stuff. I don't think there's another just Padme bag. I'll have to double check. A lake dress or something would be like a beautiful bag, right? So anyways, um, you guys look at the details on this. Okay, so you've got, of course, her the infamous headpiece right there as the clasp part. Oh, this is all debossed on here, the swirly pattern brown applique, you know, the little kind of like sash part on the front of her outfit that is. It's an applique and this is printed on the little like eyeball peacock eye looking thing along the bottom of her dress right there. This is all like stitched in there to give it almost like a quilted look. Goes the same thing on the back with the same debossed detailing there at the top. And this is so cute. The lining is so adorable. It's her in a bunch of her outfits. So cool. And again, same, same layout. You've got the two pockets. You've got that open pocket there in the front. And then the strap is... Oh, is this one adjustable? Oh, it is, it is right there. Sorry. I got, I got confused. But yeah, it is, again, adjustable. For you shorties like me that need them shorter. Oh, you guys. Oh! The little strap got all twisted when I picked it up. Yeah, yes. So pretty, right? It's like got just the right amount of detailing on there for you to like immediately, again, immediately recognize the character without being like too, too cosplay crazy, I guess. As in like with a face on it or anything like that. I don't know, I, I think this is very well done for this character. He's so pretty. Yeah, like I said, it's it might still be on the Box Lunch website or... Um, and I do know that Box Lunch you usually can't use coupons on it online. So if you have it in stores, you might be able to use a coupon on it and save a little bit of money. If not, go check out the small shops. I've got discount codes to them over there if you guys want to snag this beautiful thing. But yeah, you guys, they're so pretty. I don't even use crossbodies anymore. Why the heck do I have so many now? <laughs> Especially the style. But all right, you guys, let me know in the comments which one is your favorite. These are, they're so pretty. I think they just each have like something cool about them. And then they, they go well for their characters. So I, I think they're very well designed. So if Lantra keeps coming out with cool ones like this, I'll probably end up keep getting more even though I don't use them that much. Maybe more once my babies are a little more grown and I'm not carrying so much stuff. But for special occasions where I actually wear a crossbody. It frees up my hands. But that's why I wear mini backpacks. Like, crossbodies always kind of get in my way because they always like... They slide around if I'm bending down to pick up little ones. 
cares? All right, you guys, let me know your favorite in the comments. Um, do all the usual stuff, like subscribe, follow, you know, follow along. Uh, I mentioned, I think I tried, I'm gonna try to mention a couple videos that would like newer viewers to don't forget because I don't, I don't post like new releases in my actual feed on Instagram or Facebook, but I do post them into the stories. So new stuff is dropping all the time. I think there's at least one or two new exclusives dropping every week from a different small shop. So it's a lot to keep up with. Um, so if you'd like, follow me in the stories. That's usually specifically where I post like new releases and I put like little reminder things in there that you can click on and it'll save it to your phone for you. That way it'll give you a little reminder when something's about to go live. Um, because if you're like me, you're not going to remember all the exclusives that drop because there's so many of them. But anyways, all right, you guys, thank you so, so much for watching and we will see y'all next time.